Hey, what are you doing? They had the cookies smushed in their sheet. Oh, kids and camping. Yeah. Daddy must have put them to bed. Mom's, mom's never. A mom's work is never done. Oh, they could have slept with the cookie crumbs. What's up, Sean? Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> that would be Grandpa to yeah, you. Grandpa. Grandpa. Wow, grandpa. <laughs> Where are your teeth? <laughs> I lost them. I gave them to my daddy. Foot brake. You got the foot brake by your foot. Right, row. So Zach and Erica are leaving today here shortly and they've got some extra fresh water so we're gonna steal that from them by filling up some jugs then Angie and I will do a load of laundry with it win-win Garage versus 11 foot. Right, 14 and a half? Yeah. Yep. So I can put a fire cray right here. Does that water feel nice and cool? Yeah, it feels cold, it's but now cold. it feels warm. Take off your food and socks and play with us. Do it, Grandpa. Woo! Oh. So listen to that, it's doing its thing. Use up some of the remaining gallons of water that we've uh, still got in our tank before we head back down out of this boondocking spot. Well, hey everybody, we're leaving Cottonwood Canyon after spending the 24th of July, which is a holiday here in the state of Utah. It's Pioneer Day. Except for when we're in Idaho. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's true. We came up into Idaho to escape the crowds of people from Utah that were all headed to the mountains too. And celebrate. we had never been here before. Yeah, this was a new spot for us. It's not too far from home, about 60 miles. Um, and uh, quite enjoyed it. So uh, thanks Blake and Julie for recommending this spot. And yeah, now we're going to... Until our next adventure. And now we're going to get headed home, get our tanks dumped and as Ange said, on to the next adventure. Oh, I got, Fly. I got sweat rolling in my eyes. I have anything to say, Grandma, that took the kids down to the creek? That was fun. They loved it. So our friend Melody, uh, she mentioned that uh, she was always concerned about crayad crawdads, crayfish, playing in a creek. You know, there really aren't any crayfish up in these mountain streams. I, I've never seen one. You get them down in the valleys. I mean, when I was younger, we'd go out in the irrigation ditches and find them, but... And sometimes in the lakes or the reservoirs. Yeah, definitely, but, it you know, she mentioned that, and I 
I've spent a lot of time fishing the mountain streams and whatnot, and I cannot recall ever seeing a crayfish in the mountain rivers and streams. Right. It's kind of interesting. I mean, you'd think they got to be there. You'd yeah. think they'd work their way up, but anyways, all right. Well, we're off like a herd of turtles, huh, Jazz? Jasmine? She's eating her salad for the day. <laughs> and we got four grandkids. We got to get home. Do you have uh, dinner? Yes. <laughs>